Hey everyone, so the first thing we're going to do in these 10 steps is spray our face with a toner. And I'm going to be using a Fix It Plus. The toner you use should have some form of water binding ingredients in it. And this may be the only step you need if you've got oily skin. However, mine's quite dry at the moment, so I'm going to be using uh, an oil as a moisturizer. And this is Moroccan Argan Oil. And I'm just applying this to my face and kind of just going to rub it in slightly and let it sort of sink in. Okie dokie. Next I'm going to use a mud foundation and the foundation that I'm going to be using is WB5 and I'm going to be using the Shiwamura foundation brush and I absolutely adore using this brush with this foundation. This is probably one of the only foundations when I use this brush that I don't have to go over it with a wet sponge to sheer it out and make it look more natural, more beautiful. It's just does a phenomenal job and the mud foundation palette is the one palette that I keep coming back to again and again and again because it just does a magnificent job and I haven't had to reorder any yet because the, it, bizarrely enough they do last quite a while even the small ones and I've also got some refills here so you can see what I'm doing I'm just kind of buffing blending going up and down however you want to do it really just make sure the skin is covered and that it's a pretty good match to your neck or if, you're a, or if you're wearing a low cut top that it's a good match to your chest because you want your body and face to be in one color. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take Bisque Concealer by Bobbi Brown which is here and I'm going to apply this under my eyes and in the inside corner of my nose and I'm applying it really close to the lash line too because I've got redness there as well. And I'm using a MAC concealer brush here so just getting the color on and I'm actually going to pat it with my ring finger just to kind of set it and you know press it into the skin so that the whole thing becomes one and blends in with the foundation as well and I always do foundation first because I think it's stupid to do concealer first because you're just going to be wiping a lot of it off when you do your foundation so always do concealer first. Next I'm going to set the concealer and and foundation on my lid with a little bit of loose powder and a 224 brush and I'm just applying it on the lid making sure there's no creases in the lid first and I'm going to go under the eyes as well and I like to use this brush because you don't pick up too much product and you don't want too much texture under your eyes so this is enough to stop it from creasing. I'm going to take the NARS um, powder brush which I reviewed this week and I'm applying Ilamasca loose powder in LP 210 to my entire face and I'm very very lightly buffing it all over and this is just to set the foundation so it doesn't go anywhere if you've got dry skin you can stip, skip this step Now, next I am applying bronzer and this is by Bobbi Brown and it's in light and I'm applying it kind of to the exterior of my face and just slightly onto the cheeks as well and this is just to give the face a bit more dimension and a bit more glow and this is my preferred method of applying bronzer rather than just sticking to the high points of the face. I quite like the perimeter because I just think that it highlights the center of the face quite beautifully and it just adds a bit of color and life to the face which I like. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is apply blush and it's um, one by Bobbi Brown and I'm afraid I can't remember the name of it. I'm really sorry and I'm using a Laura Mercier blush uh, brush to apply it and I'm kind of just then going to go over it with my powder brush just to kind of blend it in and make it you know kind of go into the skin. Now I'm going to use Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in shell which is the light color and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid with a all over eyeshadow brush or a lay down brush and this one is by Charles Fox and I'm just applying it all over the lid and right the way up to the brow bone because this shadow doesn't contain any shimmer at all. <coughs> Next I'm going to be taking cement eyeshadow and a NARS angle brush and I think the number on this one is 16 and I'm starting on the inner corner of my eye but you can start wherever you want outside or inside and I'm just going to go back and forth like a windshield wiper motion just to define my eye. I know I've gone on about this a lot but it really is an important step. Next we're going to take a contour colour and this time it's going to be hot stone and I'm applying it with a 217 brush and I'm applying it to the outside corner of my eye and I'm going to kind of wiggle it 
sort of up and out, wiggle it up and out, because then this will start to really contour the eye. And if you notice my eyebrows aren't moving very much, I'll explain that in another tutorial. So just as you can see, it's starting to really just sort of take place, sort of shape the eye a little bit nicely, a little bit more nicely. Bring it down onto the lid as well. Also take this color underneath the eye as well. It's quite important. Now the next thing I'm going to do, which looks really lovely, is pull my eyelid up and I'm going to tight line my water lines with a gel eyeliner and this is in black and I think it was by Bobby Brown. And this just makes the lashes look really thick and dark. I'm now going to get a push liner brush by Trish McAvoy and with, I think it's charcoal by Bobby Brown, I'm applying it just to the outside edge of the eye. And this really makes the lashes look thick and dark right on the outside edge, which also helps lift the eye, as you can see. Now I'm taking my 16 brush by NARS and I'm just going over it just to make sure everything kind of is fading into one. Now I'm going to take White Avalanche by MAC eyeshadow and a really thin brush. I'm just going to highlight the tear duct area and as you can see this is going to make such a massive, massive step in your eye makeup because it just highlights the eye and it just brings on the drama. It really kind of just looks amazing so make sure that you highlight the inner corner of your eye. I'm next going to curl the eyelashes with a eyelash curler. So I'm just going to sort of press it in and then walk it up the lash. Next I'm using Givenchy's Phenomenal Eyes Mascara which is my absolute all-time favorite bar none. It just does an amazing job of making your lashes look thick and separate them all. It's the best mascara in the world. Nearly there, nearly there. Okay. Next I'm going to take a lip pencil brush by Bobbi Brown and this is in blush and this is a shade that I really like and it kind of matches my lip colour and I'm going to fill in the outside of my lips and I'm going to fill in the bottom part of my lip and now I'm going to fill in my entire lip with this pencil because this will act as a base. And next I'm going to use a lipstick by Bobbi Brown and this is in beige because this also matches the lipstick very, very, uh, the lip liner very well. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lips, obviously. And I really like this kind of neutral lip. It's not a nude lip, it's your own lip colour, just a bit better. And next I'm going to apply a tiny, tiny spot of gloss, which is in Jelly Baby by MAC, just to the bottom part of the lip and maybe the centre of the top and that will complete the 10 steps and thank you for watching I really appreciate your time and I will see you soon thank you bye bye